Greetings, my name is Bevan. I'm here to give you guys an update on what's happening here in the cannabis legalization process in Grenada. So a week and a half ago, Mr. Cloudin, who is the head of the Cannabis Commission here, announced that in six weeks, Grenada is going to decriminalize 15 grams, which is about half ounce. And then in six months, they're going to legalize the plant. For me, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt. He also announced three billions in reparations and up to 600 acres of land for the Rastafarians, according to the government of Grenada. Once again, I have to take that with a grain of salt. The reason why election season is coming. Grenada has started the early voter registration process around the island over the next coming weeks. So for me, the fear is this is just talk and they're going to push this back to the next election. If that happens, it can be in another two, three, four years before we get a legalized plant. So what can we do? This is where, again, it's up to every one of us to say, hey, we want decriminalization. We want to legalize this plant so that where there's jobs and business benefits for us all. Then the best part is this year is our 50th independence from England. It's a perfect time for us to legalize. So my thought here is the Rastafarians is taking a lead. And some of the things that I've seen kind of put me at pause. Because where in the world do Grenada have billions of dollars to give to Rastafarians reparations? It's not going to happen. It doesn't happen in the States. It's not going to happen here. The Grenada government does not have 600 acres of land. A couple years ago, they said they have four acres to give. And those four acres were boarded by houses. So there was no private area for the Rastafarians to grow in peace. And my fear is the Rastafarian on the community um, is just leading the guys the wrong way. Specifically, in fact, he told them guys that once he became on the board, he no longer wanted to be a part of the group for them to not speak his name. So is he having Canada interests here? Because that's what it seems folks in Canada wants to come to Grenada and be a part of this industry without Grenadians having a strong foothold when it comes to legalizing. We as Grenadians have to have the main point here when it comes to the benefits of this plant, especially the Rastafarians who've been arrested for years. So the focus should be on the guys who are arrested, who are in jail right now to be released, have your records clean, and then focus on building your own co-op so that way you can take advantage of the legalization, get your license, build a community. I'm going to give you guys here um, some game, just for example. Let's say Grenada is big on tourism, and this first quarter here was 30% more than last quarter last year. So Grenada is pouring a lot of investments. I see another $30 million is going to be invested in that nice hotel um, in, in Granite. For me, that means money is coming here. So why not take advantage of that? So we know tourists love smoking marijuana, especially those coming from the States. Now, as a Rastafarian, let's think about this for a second here. $50 is spent, right, a day. You get 50 people every day for six months because our tourism, high tourism is six months. That's $450,000. If you get 100 of those individuals, that's $900,000 in six months. That's not including the food that you guys should be growing along with marijuana. So all the ITEL food, the vegan food is very good. That's extra income. Steam chalices, you no know, tourists love souvenirs. I why do not buy a steam chalice? That's extra funds coming in here. The calabash bowls can be used as ashtrays or rolling trays. That's extra income. Plus all the different souvenirs that can be used. It's a whole opportunity here for the Rastafarians. And I keep telling them, hey, stop worrying about reparations. Focus on building your community. I grew up here in Grenada where our community support each other. And you guys have to come together. There's over 10,000 of you guys here who can affect this election. You have to get the word out that we want proper legalization. We want, you want that vertical license. The vertical license is for you guys to cultivate, to process, to manufacture and sell. That right there alone will help you guys to be successful 
and get everything that you have coming from you. Three billion dollars, Greenada does not have. Six hundred acres, Greenada does not have to give you guys. So, what can you guys do to help yourself? It's perfect. I have a school here. We have an agriculture and STEM research institute called Care Academy. So, if you go to caregreenada.com/jobs, you guys will be able to see all the new job opportunities that will happen once Greenada has a regulated market. And then also, if you want help when it comes to businesses and just advice. I have an app called Mimea Swahili for Herb. Mimea.co slash app. Download the app, get the help you need. Appreciate you guys so much. I'm going to keep you guys updated on what's going on. As far as I heard, they're supposed to have another event, right? Another consultation come in Granville in about a week or two. I'll keep you guys updated. And those of you in Karaku, um, that's a few, a few weeks to follow. Appreciate you guys so much. Thank you again for the support. Much love. Oh, 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 oh,